Uh, the weekend after uh, it's Rochdale against Keefley as York City Knights uh, in the black and gold make the way out here onto trail finders and it looks like they're going to play into the wind in this first half they've had a, a tough start to the year haven't they uh, the trip to Toulouse which is undoubtedly one of the toughest trips in this division and then a trip to Lee and they've come off second best on both occasions yeah you know there's some tough teams in this competition and yeah like, like you've just said there you know York have had to start and go away to those teams um, Lee obviously looking really impressive with some of their wins and, and Toulouse also so uh, yeah no they've not had you know the best of starts but they've got some quality in that in that side you know ex super league players and things like that so you know they they've got dangers all over the pitch and it's something that you know as a london team we've uh, we've highlighted this week as the broncos make the way out onto the field led by uh, the charismatic eddie batty i think that's the fairest way of putting it he's a character isn't he yeah, he's, he's a great personality to have around the boys. Um, you know, you've only got to look at some of the social media stuff to. Yes, his new gift this year is fantastic. Yes, isn't it? it is. Yeah, he's, but uh, no, he's the heart and soul. You know, in, in that forward pack, and he, he gives everything for the shirt every week, and uh, you know, he, he does a fantastic job for us. Uh, Tom Grant is the man in the middle this afternoon, and it will be the City Knights who will get us underway, kicking from right to left. Thank you uh, for joining us here on our league. Uh, the road to Wembley continues. We were at Aldershot two weeks ago for the British Army there, playing Rochdale uh, this afternoon. And we're just waiting for a few of the subs to uh, clear it round the back. On you, Connor, let's go, mate. So Connor Robinson gets us underway with the left boot, and it's going to be London who are going to have first use of the football. And it's uh, Olsi Krasnicki with the first yeah. carry. Move! Find me, Jack! I remember his debut yeah. against Leeds, Olsi Krasnicki. Work, yeah. He yeah. ran into Kylie Lulawai, and we'll say no more than that. Shoot! <laughs> Chris will get here! Batty with the second carry as Davis gets into dummy half, goes to that left-hand side. It's a good line, and it's a break already for Rhys Curran. Curran's only got the full-back to beat, and Three. done a good job there as Matty Find Marsh, but London Go on the front to foot to already. Back inside the 20 metre line could be, be the start they're looking for it's with Hindmarsh Hindmarsh steps goes for the line and Hindmarsh I think he's got it has scored and London are in what an absolutely fantastic start 45 seconds on the clock and Dan Hindmarsh gets the Broncos on the board and you can't ask for any more than that can you four tackles into the game no that's just the start that the uh, the London side would have wanted here and you know it's something that we highlighted this week um, about starting big and, and starting really fast against a you know a, 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 a good York team so you know it's gone out to that left hand side there hit Reese Curran uh, you know a very established footballer um, in, in this championship uh, you know league and, and you know he's, he's hit a fantastic line off Corey Aston to make the initial break um, and then it's just simple play from the Broncos there playing out wide uh, to the space and uh, young young Dan Hindmarsh forces his way over so 4-0 to the Broncos here already Corey Aston has the kicking duties this afternoon he's left you Corey he's left you I think Corey Aston's just wondering if he's going to need the ball holding in this breeze here one minute mate needs to send this out to the left of the post and swing it round in an ideal world obviously <laughs> here is Corey Aston then with the conversion attempt he's pushed it to the right of the post not giving it enough to, to curl round but London lead uh, by four points to nil and great start yeah a tough ass obviously for Corey Aston there um, you know Kieran Dixon who's, who's not available today to play um, you know no, normally the main kicker um, with, with a pretty good strike record yeah, so yeah. down to Corey Aston by the looks of it today to, to he, be he slotting those he was having a feed with you wasn't he he was okay, yes man. he was as Conor Robinson gets us back underway again and it's going to be Olsi Krasnicki. It's almost like the start of the game again as he gets to the 20 Move metre line. Hold, Jack, hold! Go on. Walters at dummy half. Here's Eddie Batty. Two! Move! Hold, hold! Go to well time Walters that. at dummy half. Going to try this left hand side again. Okay. Gone round the back this time and it's in the hands to Armitage down that left hand side. and. Three. Guy Move. Armitage gets Chris. two halfway. Chris. Go three. Davis at dummy half to Aston. Here is Batty again out That's the okay. back into the line. Four. Meadows and 
Now he tries to get under his London attacking with Aston now. Takes the line on. He's done off load there, not quite. Stand up, hold it, on the last tackle as Davis waits at dummy half. Gonna come down this short side. And it's been lost by Jacob Ogden and it'll be a turnover, but again, great meters. Yeah, London uh, you know, progressing really well up, up the field and you know just uh, lacking a bit of uh, patience there just in the corner just to find the right finish. But um, you know, easy meters made from some of the big fellas. So, yo, trying to clear the lines as Elliot Wallace in off the wing. Wait! Go to as Jub at dummy half to Chris Clarkson. Surrender! Very experienced player, Chris Stand. Clarkson. Wait for it, step back. Go. As Jub at behind, dummy half Three. comes to this left-hand side. Four. Move now! Get to me and hold. Go for good work. Jub again it. at dummy half. There is Spears, and Spears gets five short five. of halfway Move. on the last tackle. Go five. Goes to the left hand side and Robinson outside puts and it clear. high, spiralling kick. And oh, they both looked at each other and oh, it's, it's been taken one. by Tayu Agodo and oh. it caused confusion though it swirled all over the place. Yeah, and we spoke about that before the game. You know, it's going to be a tough job for these wingers and the fullbacks uh, this afternoon with this win, but just a little bit of uh, indecision there from, from Ashul Bart and Toyo Agodo. Um, you know, we're looking to, to, to claim one of those. And the Broncos will start on halfway with okay, Davis. Zeddy Batty with the first carry. As he's met by Jack Teamby. Davis at dummy half. To this right to Aston. Meadows gets it to the try scorer at Hind March. Two. Move together, find my foot. Wait for it, wait, wait. As Davis Go waits at dummy half to this left hand side Meadows again going across the face looking for a runner and has Aston goes short on the no look pass to Reese Curran Go three. Will you off? Will Aston to Batty out the back finds three. Meadows here's Hindmarsh again he's got a one on one but he's just bought to ground a couple short couple left in the set as Davis Go waits four. at dummy half goes to Meadows Meadows with the step Meadows for the line Five. he's just pushed Move back now. good defence from the City Knights as Davis waits at dummy half he's going to try and burrow his way under and he's finished short good defence from the York City Knights there you know put under pressure with that penalty and then ended up in their own sort of 10-20 metres and, and have had to defend their goal line there they've got to start right on the goal line though surrender stand up hold on me hold this jump gets into dummy half now oh, both markers bought that and Jubb's able to steal 10 upfield he's back now he's back as three move off the ball markers locking wait for it he's trapped in you've got him three. Wallace with the carry then as Jubb at dummy half here is Danny Washbrook four move Martin wait for me wait wait as Dan Heinmarsh just caught in the wrong side of the rook yeah, Danny Ward would be pretty penalty. pretty disappointed there. You know, turned over the ball one metre from York's line and have ended up, you know, making easy metres to the 50, 50 metre line. And then and to give a penalty away on the fifth tackle is, is criminal, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, pretty disappointing set. It's a good kick into the breeze from Connor Robinson. And they'll start 25 out as Salter to Robinson. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets it away. Move together, step back. Hold. Go, will matter get square. Oh, Play balls on the deck. Ball. It's picked up by Robinson. Pops it back to Sam Scott. Two. And Scott no, step back. is held Hold. 15 Hold. out in centre field. Jub waits at dummy half. Goes to the right to Spears, and Spears takes Three. the London line on. There's Jub again Go at dummy half. Again, trying the right hand side, and Johnson. Here's Washbrook. Great defence for the Bronx guys. Liam Salter in the centre position on this left side. He's waving the hands. There's Jubb at dummy half. Clarkson out the back finds Johnson to Robinson. Meadows read that well and got out of the line quickly. Last tackle. They've got an extra man this side. As that's going to be a penalty on the back of this. As Scott puts it onto the ground. It's going to go dead. And it's a 20 metre restart. And 
well I thought he was going to give a penalty for the high shot yeah strange decision there you know whether his teammates didn't let him know that you know that the, the referee was looking to give the penalty but um, yeah he's kicked it obviously and it's gone dead and the Broncos come away with a seven tackle set here and it's Tyler no. Magodo with the first carry ball's come out and he's going to give a knock on yeah just looked like a loose carry there I just you know as he's, as he's gone to the play the ball um, needs to be doing better really just to just to hold on to that ball and is there a rip in there no I think he's got to do better to hold on to that loose carry did fly out and you always wonder when it flies out indeed but you know the York City Knights in a, in a really good position here in the middle of the field uh, both attacking options either way and the start of the set and the Broncos 30 Need an extra man in the scrum at the moment. Head in, shot clock off, ball in now, out! They'll come to the short side, they've got a man extra as Marsh gets it to Salter. One, move! And the 12 out Hold. from the liners. Brad Hay at dummy half. Two, Robinson, here is Jack Team B. Two, move and if I my foot! As Jub at Stand dummy on, half. Go, to this left hand side again out of the back oh needed to go from Spears Hold. Brad Hay had a walk in at the three. corner and he's here at dummy half Play on, not the best on, pass it's well taken it's going to be just settled down by Four. Jack Teamby York have missed a huge go chance there as Jubb to Robinson here is Johnson Marsh that. gets it to Kine Horse Kine Horse can he find a gap no it's, it's been a late hit in back play and it's going to be a penalty great defensive read back in this in this corner from Jake Ogden to go in and, and, and kill the play on the centre um, you know a young partnership there with Jake Ogden and, and, and young Josh Hodgson making his debut today so um, York throwing the football about which is great to see and testing this Broncos defence as Spears with the carry gets 12 out can York get away back into this cup tyres Robinson gets it to Johnson and Johnson's lost it Meadows has okay, come up with it and Matt Fozard's got it Keep and the chance has gone for York and, and James yeah. Ford will be pretty disappointed with that Go. I think James Ford will be disappointed with that yeah a bit of a, a, a scratchy set uh, for them and you know obviously you're looking to, to punish uh, you know a Broncos defence there after having the ball for, for a good few minutes there but um, you know Danny Ward on the other hand will be very pleased on the goal line there to be able to defend the set um, out Fozard with the offload with a second phase for Davis and he gets inside the 30 as Ashol Boss at dummy half goes to the left hand side here is Batty out the back and Curran gets it to Armitage and Armitage trying to run four. over the top of Johnson but Hold. can't as Go Igodo four. waits at dummy half gets it back to Aston Aston goes short to Fozard Fozard tries to put the footwork on he's got the offload, it's gone backwards here is Ashall Bott and he's too short of the line last tackle for the Broncos as Davis goes to the left to Aston should be in here and they are and it's Tayu Agoda who's going to get in at the corner simple numbers game for the Broncos great ball handling they lead by eight points to nil yeah fantastic training move from uh from the Broncos there found the numbers on that left hand side and um, the back row are going on that outline with the lead, lead, leading centre and has, and has found the ball over to Toyo Agodo for the try um, York just seems to be losing that rock with a couple of offloads in there and that's that's you know drawing in those numbers and the spaces then out wide there we go again simple line from the, the centre drawing that half back in and then the back row has slipped underneath outside him and a, a simple 2v1 in the corner just a numbers game wasn't it really yeah, indeed but, indeed and it comes from that offload you know yeah, Matty Fozard's yeah, yeah. been in there with one and, and Corey Ashton uh, just to oh, yeah, unhinge that, yeah. that defence we'll and bring bring those jump, players in and nice and tight uh, you know and, and then like you say just play to numbers there and play to the space yeah so one minute mate Corey Ashton yeah, with the conversion attempt Here is the kick, he's floated it up and he's not given it enough this time and it's just been waved away. Give it too much to do. 
Yeah, from from here, you know, you can't really you can't really judge it, but there is a, a, a vicious wind coming across. And here's the mistake that led to the try. Down the wrong lads. Yeah, it's just, you can see that the halfback is playing, you know, away from the line. It just gives the Broncos defence enough time to make that read and that decision uh, to go and make that pressure. That's okay. Here's Olsi Krasnicki with the carry. So 12, 13 and a half gone here. 8 0 London. Ahead. Wait for it. Go one. There's Batty with the carry. He's going to let Matt Fozard have a go this time. A couple of offloads from him already. And it's a penalty. And it's starting there, isn't it? You know, in the yardage sets for the for the Broncos, they're managing to, to find their front. They're winning the play of the ball, get themselves on the front foot with strong carries, and that's hurting York at the moment. They're not managing, uh, you know, these Broncos forwards very well, and, and, and you can just start to see the Broncos creeping in on top. Uh, Rochdale six, British Army four, witness eighteen, Oldham nil, already uh, up at the Holton Stadium. As Davis at dummy half goes to the left hand side to Meadows. Here is Aston goes short for Curran. As Davis waits at dummy half to the right to Fozard. Fozard out the back finds Aston. Here is Meadows pops it up to Ogden. He's going to be held just short of the line. Is that young Josh Hodgson there yet? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have a can't really see that corner. It's obscured a little bit as High Marsh with the carry, just going to get reorganised. As Davis at dummy half to Meadows. Here is Batty. Batty just caught as he passed it. It's gone backwards as Ashall Bot collects and just Eddie Batty's pass not being clean. Just stop the momentum there a little bit as. Davis goes the left to Aston onto the boot. Great kick. Here comes everybody, and it's just not dead by Matty Marsh. And it's going to be a goal line dropout. Great outcome from Corey Aston. Put boot to ball. Very delicate kick into the in goal, forcing the York players to retreat and, and uh, push that one behind for a goal line dropout, which is more an added pressure now to the York side. You would think playing into the wind, they're going to be under a lot of pressure in this first half, York, aren't they? Yeah, certainly, and you know they're hoping probably that that, that second half is going to, uh, you know, pay them back for it. But at the moment, yeah, they're going to have to do some tough work with, against this wind. Robinson with the goal line dropout. Then it is going to be Eddie Batty to return, he's met by Jack Teamby. Chris, hold, hold. Davis at dummy half to the right, out to Ashall Botton. Only Ashall Bock on his London debut today after joining from Witness. As Davis at dummy half. Meadows collects and Meadows takes the line on. Just look for the offload. Just didn't quite have anyone on the shoulder as Davis at dummy half goes to the left to Batty. Here is Aston to Curran. Curran's run over the top and Curran's in for the third London try of the afternoon. Here in the 17th minute. And Reese Curran, just too much power there, over the top of the York defender, and London lead by 12 points to nil. And it's a copycat shape that you know that the Broncos have ran probably three times already in this first half, where they're you know uh, the two two front rowers playing with a bit of pace and, and, a, and a bit of guile, and, and it's out the back to Corey Aston who's, who attacks that that line here as we just see it coming up on the screen, and you know and he's got a hard line from Reese Curran who's hit that line already today, and he's, he's managed to get himself over his opposite man. Um, and in for the try. Great start, though. Wardy will be pleased. He will be indeed. Um, yeah, definitely. I think more pleased with some of the defensive work. Um, but he'll be he'll be he'll be wanting the the Broncos team here to to keep the foot on the throat um, and, and and make sure that you know this 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 performance keeps at this level at the moment. So Corey Aston, none from two off the boot so far. Here he comes. Can he land his first kick of the afternoon? No. It's waved away. 12 0 here at Trailfinders. It's not a day for goal kicking, is it? It's definitely not. 
Very crucial period now for York in this in this first half. You know, not had any uh, any luck down in the in the Broncos' defensive end. You know, and, and it all seems to be London Broncos at the moment going forward. So really critical period that they can get a stamp on this game in this next five ten minutes. And London are just making easy meters at times, aren't they? As Taylor Godo brings the kickoff back. Yeah, easy meters and, and low low errors, and you know if you, if, if you can complete those sets. Um, early on and get a good uh, kick away and, and, and a great outcome you know it makes the game a lot easier for yourself Davis at dummy half no markers and gets chance to jump and gets five short of half ways Matt Fozard jumps into dummy half here is Batty again to Meadows here is Oli Ashall Bop down this right hand side for Ogden as Hodson at dummy half another one of the debutants today as Meadows to Krasnicki here is Aston to Curran and again despite these difficult conditions the Broncos are letting the ball do the talking at the moment aren't they yeah we, we practiced a lot of uh, you know our training stuff this past couple of weeks on, on, on playing some some attractive football and trying to uh, you know get the ball out back to our edges you know and, and, and and get those big fellas that we have out wide you know hitting some good decent lines and you know you can see that from this opening half that our halfbacks are looking to control the game but also you know play some some uh, some good rugby league and that kick from Corey Aston just catching the wind and going out on the full so York will start 25 away from their own line is team B with the carry as Jubb gets in to dummy half here is Chris Clarkson with the little tip off to Two. Sam Scott as Jubb waits at dummy half only one marker and Will Jubb takes the opportunity to steal 10 metres upfield that's better from York playing with Clarkson with a bit of push you know he's got a lot of experience and a bit of deception there he is there as Marsh gets it to Kynhorst and Johnson's cop for one off the ball again there we think Yeah, I think just on that attacking shape there, he might have caught one from a Broncos defender. Yeah, it is Ben Johnson who's down. Arrived from Halifax in the close season. Let's see if we can catch it on the replay. Yeah. Yeah, it's young Sang Davis there, just leaving a little bit on him. It's four that, mate and uh, some of those have been attracting match review as well haven't they yeah certainly this year the, the referees are a lot hotter on it you know they're trying to eradicate that stuff out of the game and you know as as, as, uh, as players you know you're always taught to go and put that pressure on that half back um, so that they can play earlier uh, but obviously within the, the, the rules of the game so we're back underway He's done with the play of the ball Johnson's okay here is Spears five Let's jump down the short side to Johnson trying to go through the hands with Kine Horst and turn it over five away from the line. That's not a bad outcome from York, you know, they'll be happy with that. Look where they are now to the, for a defensive set. You know, they've got the Broncos pinned in that this bottom right hand, left hand corner, sorry. I can see they've jammed in as Armitage with the carry. Go on, you good lads, good. Here's Tayu Agodo. That's okay. Agodo almost gets through as very strong ball carrier on. very strong this is what the Broncos are relying on you know the, the back five for them all to pick up easy metres out of yardage um, as you can see Motty F Matty Fozard here with, with a late offload, offload to Davis as Fozard gets it to Meadows Meadows takes the line on numbers on this short side here only three defending that space they're going to go they up and spot it, no. with Aston. Here is Eddie Batty. He's coming back to this edge, and that's going to be a penalty. I've got it, I've got it. Relax, Eddie. And again, added pressure for this York side. Last tackle and a, and a penalty conceded. Um, you can see some of those those bigger fellas starting to tire now, and the Broncos are just turning the screw. At no point going for two when you're 12 and a lot. They're going to go for six. Here's the tackle again. Yeah, it's just lazy, yeah. isn't it, from Sam Scott more than anything else. Has Nicky with the carry. Get 
Davis at dummy half to the left to Meadows Meadows again takes the line on he does that quite a lot he's definitely a runner <laughs> as Davis at dummy half goes to the left to Aston double pump to Ashall but Armitage oh. through the legs oh and Ooh. it's been called forward oh that was magic from Guy Armitage to Tayo Agodo but it's just ruled forward by the touch judge yeah he's he's a very very skillful player as we just see it back here now one of the younger brothers of the Armitage rugby union lot and um you know, managed to secure his services for this year. He's got some skills about him, and that's lovely through the legs to Toyo Agodo. They're forming quite a quite a partnership on that left edge. So York looking to clear their own end with Jimmy Kinehorst. Job at dummy half. Line speed very good there from the Broncos. Discipline key here now for the Broncos not to give away any easy penalties or errors or me meters um, and try and lock this York side in. Oh, and there you go, gone too soon. And uh, Wardy will be smashing the coach's box up there. That is a coach killer, um, as, as they call them. Yeah, to, to concede that coming out of uh, your, you know your, your defensive yardage set. Um, there's just been a, a couple too many for the Broncos here, and, and, and that'll be something that I, I'm sure Wardy will be addressing at half time. As Jubb gets it to Sam Scott. One, no! Hold on me, hold! Go on. Now that was John Baldenton who's out there now in jumper 19. Hold it, hold! Jubb at dummy half goes to the right to Robinson. Here is Johnson to Marsh. Marsh with the dummy. In. Tries to find the gap, but the slide from. Reese Curran is good. Help! Release, Reese! Back foot, wait for it! Eight out. Go three. As Johnson runs across the face, needs a runner, has Robinson, pops it up. That one is. Four. Sam Scott. Oh, back foot! Wait, wait! Go for it. As Job. Robinson pops it up here, he's Jordan Baldwinson on the charge now as Josh Hudson gets involved in that tackle last tackle what have the City Knights got here's the pass offload offload and then it's been lost great work it's going to be a turnover Reese Curran there to make that play come in and put a, a great shot on obviously the offload conceding and Oli Ashwell bot up there to to pick up any scraps as you see Reese Curran comes in don't manage to get the ball but then Oli Ash will ball over the top as any good fullback will do to come and clear up the scraps as Broncos clear the line as Eddie Batty goes for a breather he's done his 25 minutes like all good props like to do and Dan Norman gets out there it has been a really good start, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Uh, Danny Ward will be very impressed. Um, you know, a few uh, just individual errors, really, that have cost the Broncos letting you know this York team back in. York finding it hard just to win that upfront battle uh, coming out of the, the Broncos' end. Nice run there from Sammy Davis. Almost gets up the middle of the ruck as Meadows on the last tackle drops it onto the boot and Marsh collects and it's a good chase and York again are going to be trapped right on their own goal line as wait, wait. they look to make a change don't go early here don't go early I've got that mate two move hold hold go Marsh two. gets into dummy That's half good. three move find me hold Wallace in off the wing go three doesn't get much Four. change he gets to the 30 metre line wait, wait. Go for Robinson at dummy half. Five. Move together! Wait! Go for it's Marcus move. stopped. He's just got out there as on the last tackle. It's a good take from Josh Hudson on debut. Yeah, speaking another to, another young uh, academy pro pro project from uh, from the London Broncos system and a lad that I know really well and, and you know has done really well in, in the time that he's had here and uh, you know it's great for him to have his debut today along with the other lad uh, William Blakemore who's looked really sharp in training as well. As Upton plays the ball then here is Dan Norman 
Yeah, Wardy said it was on the back of some good performances in the reserves. Yeah, it's great to have that reserves competition back, and, and you know, and, and have some uh, some tough teams in there that will have you know Super League players that will be dropping down and, and coming back from injury. So, you know, I'm I'm, in, I'm a big favour for it. Um, you know, it's where I grew up playing in, in that reserves comp until they got rid of it, and you know, I think it's great for the youth to, to be able to develop. It's Aston then. Here is Ashall bot into the line. We'll go wide to a door. Go. He drops it onto the boot, and it's just going to roll over the sideline but again it's the right areas of the field yeah the Broncos looking particularly dangerous on that left hand side combinations between uh, Corey Aston Reese Curran and Toyo Agodo and, and Guy Armitage um, you know seem to be causing a lot of a uh, lot of trouble for that right right hand edge uh, of the York City Knights at the moment oh, I didn't think so mate sorry for missing it apologise heading lads nice and tight shot clock off now Ben out. So here is Jimmy Kinehorst. 14 4 to Rochdale now against the Army. Witness 30 0 up. And the Crusaders at half time lead Hunslet by 16 points to 10 elsewhere. And Doncaster lead at Workington. There's another penalty. That's the fourth one of the half for the City Knights. Yeah, it's going to be the, the same message, I think, from Danny Ward is to, you know, cut out those penalties. It's just gifting York easy possession and, and, and sort of piggybacking them down the field. And they'll start 10 short of halfway. Okay. As Liam Salter with the carry. Chris Brunin is out there now for the City Knights, and here he is. Wait, wait, wait. At dummy half. Goes to the right to Clarkson. Good offload from Chris Clarkson. Two, three. Jack Teamby is grinding at dummy half. Gets the jump, gets it back to Marcus Stock. And that's when York looked dangerous with Clarkson running ball in hand at, at, you know, at this defensive line and, and people running off him with half backs out back. As Johnson Marsh into the line, long ball down that right hand side, finds Wallace and does well to stay on the island. On the last tackle as Kinehorse gets it back to Marsh. Here is Johnson that's just clear, drops it clear. onto the ground and James Meadows has ooh, he's done really well to take that in. Yeah, and the Broncos coming out from their own 15 here. Um, some really, really uh, you know, nice attack from the from the York City Knights, just trying to build a bit of pressure, uh, not being too conservative, but at the same time they're trying to find their outcomes as well. Yeah, also, Krasnicki going for a breather as Taiwa Gordo with the carry and here is Will Blakemore on debut for the Broncos a big moment for the young man to get out there come on lads yes. three move Danny hold go three it's Davis at dummy half Five. 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 high and Tyra Gordo just checking with Josh Feller on the sideline as Corey Aston's going to kick the Broncos downfield it needs, great to sit up. it needs to sit up and it's going to sit up on the goal line And how's the chase? it's good there's one, two, three there's six there Oof. he's got the ball away to Wallace great link up play from the backfield there York City Knights wait go on is Marsh two move hold hold Go to a good line, Matty. Two. Here's Baldwinson. Great shot. Three. Move, come on, Matt. Hold. Matt Fozard. Go three. As bringing it dummy half. Here's Clarkson. Gets three. ball to Robinson. Oh, just a second effort from Jacob Ogden. Done really well there, you know. It's a great play again from Clarkson. Come to this short side, as we can see here, hits the play out the back to the halfback who attacks the line. Um, you know, and the, and the young lad Jake Ogden's done really well there for defensive read just to give up the meters and, and make his tackle, but just that added extra to try and slow that ruck down to allow his teammates to get on side. And he's cost him a penalty. Here's Washbrook, he's met by Corey Aston, plays it quickly as Kinehorse jumps from dummy half. As Washbrook to Johnson drops it off. A good spell here for the York City Knights. Bron the Broncos just seem to be falling off a few tackles. As Browning goes from dummy half. Goes. Can he reach out? No, he's just short. 
Huge chance here as Stock at dummy half goes under and he's been ruled held up as Marcus Stock tried to sneak one using the post. He's, do you know what? This is the one rule change they should make in this situation. He's let the ball go. Yeah. I know he's been held up, but... Marcus Lockin, this is fine! As the okay, wind mate. picks up here. Last tackle. As, oh, it's too slow. Too slow, and Connor Robinson had no chance there. No, the, the, the pass was on. He just, uh, whether he, I think he just caught the uh, the Broncos defence coming up in his eye line, and it, you know, it halted him from from releasing that pass. Um, and a simple turnover, the Broncos can come away now with Young Will Blakemore, and that's his first carry in first grade. And the boy done good. As Reese Curran down that left side, he's put to ground just over the twenty. Is Blakemore again? Here's the attempt from Marcus Stock just to squeeze over in the corner. That's good. Tom Grant in a good position to give the decision. Interesting period here as well as, as the Broncos enter this, you know, final seven minutes with a, ve a very young uh, team. You know, both debutants out there now, and you know, young Sammy Davis um, and, and, and Dan Norman around him. You know, with uh, young halfback Jimmy Meadows out there. You know, quite a young uh, London Broncos side. So it'll be interesting to see this final seven minutes. As Aston with the kick, it's taken by Robinson. Chris Clarkson goes for a breather now, that could be a significant moment. Indeed, I, th I think a lot of their play comes through him, as, we, as we've talked about already, and, um, you know, hopefully the Broncos can, can keep this York team quiet. James Green out there, and here he, well, he was there for the carry, but... But here goes on his own, here he is now, James Green gets to the 30 as Brining at dummy half to Baldwinson this time and Baldwinson gets over halfway last tackle as the breeze picks up again here down in Ealing as Robinson's going to try and go for the swirling kick he's done well as Dan Josh Hodgson takes well and returns and gets over the 20 metre line and no sign of nerves from the young man there no that'll do him the world of confidence you know it's never easy taking a high ball on your you know on your debut and you know especially with this wind surrounding it so um, you know that'll give him a lot of confidence to catch that one Jacob Ogden will play it 12 short and half ways Tanya Wagodo wraps round there's Davis at dummy half here's Blackmore again as Sam Davis makes his way to sideline, will this see Elwar? It will. As Fozard at dummy half gets it to Aston. Here is Curran. A bit of French flair to enter the field. As Fozard gets it to Aston, and Aston's got it over to Meadows. Still five, drops it onto the boot. It's gone into the corner. And it's just gone dead. And it's going to be a 20 metre restart. Yeah, not the end of set that the, the Broncos would have wanted or needed, and you know, and seven tackles now for the York City Knights to really pepper this middle middle section. You've locked him, mate. Zero. It's a good carry. As Spears with the second one gets just short of halfway. As Marsh at dummy half. Thank you, mate. I'll get you two. Gets it to Liam Salter. As Browning at dummy half. Here is. Green then with the carry. Come on, Matty. It's Browning at dummy half to this left hand side. Got numbers, just going to drop it onto the boot. Is Robinson and Robinson collects. Robinson for the corner. Great tackle from Oli Ashall. But and said the tackle's complete. As Tom Grant, so that's why the penalty's been given. He's trying to say he stole it one on one. Yeah, smart play from the from Robinson there on that short side. He's seen the late retreater coming out from the rock. He's gone there, you know, against a, a big four in that space, and you know, just dabbed it on the end of his foot. A uh, great play from Oli Ashul Bot, as we can just see here on the, on the playback. As can the City Knights get on the board before the break here? As Browning at dummy half goes the right hand side. Oh, it's hit the deck. Johnson collects, drops it off to Washbrook. Danny Washbrook. He's held five away from the line as 
Brining waits at dummy half. Goes across the face and they are in. It is James Green with the try. Two runners pick the wrong man. Great pass from Brining. And James Green gets in and York have found a way back into this game just before half time. Yeah, it's a really soft one in terms of the Broncos to you know to receive that, that try there and um, Danny Ward would definitely not be happy with this. Just two front runners, great ball from the nine here, um, as it's a slow play the ball. Um, and he just picks out the 1v1 as Dan Norman tries to get his body in front on James Green. We'll have another look at the try after the kick from Conor Robinson on the black dot and he stuck the flags up here. So 12-6. And you know what? York deserve that for the way they've dug themselves back into the game. They have, you know, they've they've stayed consistent with it, and you know, and they've they've found a bit of a bit of joy coming through this Broncos middle in this second half of this first half, um, you know, and it's just rewards for for you know for sticking in there. And noticeable as well, they've got the two really big lads in Baldwin, Sun and Green out there as well now. They've just got that little bit more size, haven't they? Yeah, and that, you can see that's helped them against a, a you know a young forward pack that's out there now for the Broncos. You know these these big fellas are uh, you know James Green in particular and Baldwinson have played you know a number of Super League games at that level and Championship that you know they have that experience on their side. So York could be looking for them to to get them to see them through to this back end of this half. As Corey Aston gets us underway, and here is one of the big men with the carry back that one's Baldwinson they go down this left hand side with Salter York, York have got to get out of there over here without an error now haven't they yeah massive for them to, to complete this set um, and get a good kick away and, and, and a good chase on the back of it grinding at dummy half here is Stock look for an offload he's got it and uh, managed to keep holders Johnson with the footwork tries to go underneath Stand up. Go for is, Fosadi square. here's Green the York try scorer five. Move. gets 10 inside go five. as Johnson waits on the last tackle just goes high that's held up in the wind and it's bounced and gone into touch and we'll back a scrum it looked like nobody wanted to catch that ball did they and you know it just dropped on the foot of the winger there and and thankfully it's just gone out of, uh, out of play so we have reached the 40 minute mark an hour clock half time moments away here uh, with London leading by 12 points to 6 as Blakemore with the carry it's Policier dummy half down the short side to Meadow short pass to High Marsh as Policier at dummy half here is Meadows again Meadows gets it to Aston here is Curran Curran Kindhorst of collided again down that side as Armitage waits at dummy half pops into centre field worth a drop goal Five. right on the belt no. maybe Marcus potentially wait for it, wait. here it is this is half time and Corey Aston is going to go for the drop goal and he's missed it and that's half time here at Trailfinders uh, with the Broncos leading by 12 points to 6 and I remember sat there in Hamilton and uh, I was with the wife and we were at Hamilton for the first game and we're thinking hang on a minute why is Wardy running the water and not water should, surely they should have the halfback doing it as uh, Corey Aston gets us underway for the second half and it's going to be Jordan Baldwinson with the first carry One, move. Hold, hold. Go on. here is James Green uh, we will be having a vote for the man of the match we'll be giving you four choices with about ten minutes left uh, me and Will will be picking those as Danny Washbrook gets to the 20 metre line as Brining gets it to Marcus Stock with the offload back to Robinson he <laughs> doesn't know where to go he wants somebody to drop off and Washbrook does oh great hit. hit great hit Olsi Krasniki from Olsi Krasniki and Danny Washbrook oh. Oh. 
has locked it's been given as a penalty tough call he's made a great hit there you know probably a guy with the benefit of the doubt unless there's a rip involved you can see Robertson skirting across this line and you know he doesn't want to take this tackle in for fear of you know being caught like that fourth <laughs> tackle so York will start five inside with Jimmy Kynhorst there's Washbrook at dummy half to Johnson here is Baldwinson as Brining at dummy half goes to the left to Stock and Stock's got through the first challenge of Fozard and gets 10 away from the line can York make the perfect start to the half here's Green oh it's just come off and it's going to be a 20 metre restart and just York didn't need a big didn't, chance didn't need to pass it you know some very passive Broncos defence to start this second half um, and the York City Knights absolutely flying through the Broncos defence and just didn't need that oh oh deemed to be touched on the pass so it's been touched and it's turned from a 20 metre restart into well that is a left scrum. off we'll, we'll get a look at that very very shortly indeed let's have a look now just a bit too late on that replay we'll get back to that in a sec so a big chance for York then as Johnson feeds the scrum as Marsh switches gets it to Kynhorst Kynhorst with a step Kynhorst with a line is inches short as Marsh waits at dummy half to the left back to Johnston throws an outrageous dummy and tries to go on his own but Tayu Agodo's there to wrap him up as Washbrook waits at dummy half gets it to Baldwinson five out just level with the right hand post as Brining waits at dummy half here's Johnson round the back to Robinson to Marsh quick hands it's on the bounce on that left hand side with Hay and Hay's just short it's a great scramble from the Broncos at the moment as Robinson gets it to Green last tackle as Brining gets it to Stock Stock goes short and here's Baldwinson in the rain and York have made the perfect start to that second half and it's Jordan Baldwinson with the try three minutes gone we need to see how the scrum came about in the first place uh, Jordan Baldwinson is still down at the moment but the City Knights are back in this game now yeah well deserved try York have come out uh, you know, with, with a bit between their teeth and, and, and really started well here so here's the decision that ruled the scrum okay, he's right. made a play for it you can definitely yeah. see he's made a play for the ball I think that's young Will Blakemore there probably a little bit of inexperience maybe here's the try on the last play you can see he just engages with a little bit of footwork to Reese Curran which puts him under a lot of pressure you know he has to check that runner and it makes Corey Aston come in um, you know and a big fella over a little fella there's only one winner so both props have come off the bench and scored they, they just have added that little bit of extra size haven't they Green and Baldwinson yeah you know their size is obviously a, a, a massive statue but I'd, I'd put it down you know with that experience as well they know how to play against smaller packs um, you know and use their size to their advantage and you know they've done that really well so 12 all here here is another look at the try for Jordan Baldwinson he's got the numbers right again yeah great line from uh, from Baldwinson he's you know at pace nice little tip play 10 metres Okay, so all square here at Trail Finders and we do play to a finish today as Green with the carry Move! and all of a sudden well you can hear a lot of talk coming out of the York boys now they were quiet weren't they for you a can. lot of that first half yeah they're going to feed off this you know the more they make a little you know individual Move! breaks and things like that and little moments in this game you know and you look at that school on now 12-12 all, all you know all to play for a salter down that left hand side good quick play of the ball good defence from Jacob Ogden as Robinson inside the 40 Taiwa Godo needs to get back can he get back and 
No, it should be a t should be a 40-20. It yeah. is a 40-20 from Conor Robinson using that win, and it's going to be a tap restart. And more pressure now on the Broncos as Green with the carry. It's a fantastic kick using the win to their advantage. Oh, on the crash and they're in, and it's Stock, and it's two in two minutes for York on the back of the 40-20 from Conor Robinson and two plays later they're in and it's Marcus Stock with the try and what an absolutely fantastic start they've made to this second half yeah they've really come out flying uh, you know that 40-20 there just to put them in great field position they've played on you know pretty much play play two um, and you know and put a short lead over over a little man um, and, and over they go so York edge ahead for the first time this afternoon Here's the 40-20. Great kick from Connor Robinson. It's a fantastic kick. And Taylor Godo just couldn't get back and get it out. And here is the try on the crash. Marcus Stock just times the run perfectly, doesn't he? Here's the kick from Robinson. Sticks the flags up and it's all changed here at Trailfinders. Uh, 18 points in the space of 8 game minutes have put the City Knights up by 18 points to 12 this next 10 minutes really interesting period and you know one that the Broncos are going to have to address and really get a hold of in this game otherwise York are going to get you know more and more excited as this game goes on Aston with the restarts held up in the wind as Johnson takes and Johnson just surrender decides to go on his own as Washbrook waits at dummy half you would think James Ford now won't be wanting to take these big fellas off no at some point there's going to be a change and you know and um, obviously Danny Ward will have the likes of Eddie Batty to come back on um, which will definitely boost this forward pack but uh, yeah at the moment the York City uh, big fellas up front are definitely on top as Green this time gets eight short of halfway as Brining to Stock pops it up to Baldwinson I think he's lost that and the knock-on's been seen there was a bang on the window from downstairs as well wasn't there yeah so London will get the scrum five short of halfway the Broncos just need to finish this set here uh, just need to build pressure complete this set even if it has to be five drives and a kick just work the way back into this gain a bit of momentum put the pressure back on York to defend their own line as Ashall Bot gets it to Armitage and he does well to stay on the field of play as he goes or waits at dummy half as Josh Walters gets his first action of the afternoon a grand final winner with the Rhinos back in 2015 and Taylor Godo has been told to hold the ball as Pelissier jumps into dummy half says he's offside and takes advantage as Pelissier pins the ears back Pelissier for the line and Elra Pelissier has scored and London have hit back great try from the French hooker 49th minute here and Elwar Pelissier has got the Broncos right back in it he's used uh, Elliot Wallace as an offside man he's pointed him out and said he's offside he's offside it's caused some confusion in the York defence and Elwar Pelissier pins the ears back and gets over yeah great work from Toya Agodo to get that quick play of the ball and as you can see he's not set and square at the, uh, at the play of the ball and we spoke about that French flair as he came on the pitch and there he is he's a bit of a madman but you know what you're going to get with him and the French flair always comes out and gets him over by the side of the post and 18-16 now in favour of York with this kick to come just what was needed though getting straight back in it wasn't it indeed that's that's a perfect response from the Broncos you know after after falling down to that try um, great response just to get one back on the board straight away uh, and gain a bit of momentum um, as Aston sticks the flags up here at Trailfinders 18 all here as we get into the last half hour they'll be looking to complete this set here get a good kick away and build up another bit of pressure here 
Just make sure our monitor doesn't blow away as the wind picks up again as Robinson gets it to the goal line. It's going to be Olsi Krasnicki to bring it back. And Krasnicki's going backwards and he's heading back into the in goal. He's done really well to stay in the field of play. Ball's come out. Josh Walters has set off. And I think he's passed it after Held's been called. Yeah. Tough carry. Here is Blackmore. Stand up! It's Policier at dummy half. It's Fozard with the carry. It's Policier waits at dummy half. Second carry of the set for Olsi Krasnicki. It's Policier waits at dummy half. Here is Aston double pumps for Walters and Walters is just short and halfway. Perfect set really, isn't it, coming out from there? Yeah, some good meterage. Good kick away to find grass. Now need a chase off the back of it. Great kick as Matty Marsh is forced to retreat. He's going to go on his own and will get 15 away from the line. Great exit set. If you put one in the coaching one, manual, that was the perfect together. exit set, wasn't it? Me, that was it, wait. definitely. Bit of Go push, bit of play, either side, quick play the balls, get a good kick away. So all to play for here, as we get inside the last half hour, 18 all. Who will be in that draw, uh, which takes place tomorrow night at 6.30 at KCOM Craven Park. Four Super League clubs come into the mix in the next round as well. As Baldwinson with the carry gets 10 short. Back, of halfway as grinding at dummy half now here is Green Green Play gets the arm free ball. and gets it back to Brining and he gets over halfway five. Move. last tackle five. options left and right Johnson to the left are going to go to Robinson instead and Robinson goes high he's got plenty of time here as Oli Ashall bot and not many people near him and he feels quite comfortably yeah, very Whoa, secure under that high ball. Hold, hold. Just Aston waits at dummy half. Here's Blackmore. Policier at dummy half, gone too soon. He's done well there, you know, the young forward to get back play, uh, play two for his team and, you know, and get him on the front foot and win a penalty, you know, strong work from the Davidson. Just too much from the York City Knights there, leaving hands in the rock. Easy decision for the referee. As Aston then gets it to Krasnicki. London playing into the breeze that's blowing round trail finders at the moment, but also playing down the slight slope as well as Aston gets it to Meadows. Here's Ashall bot into the line, looks to step and find a gap and almost does, but Marcus Stock with the covering tacklers. Policier waits at dummy half, comes to the left to Meadows Meadows out at the back finds Aston long ball to Armitage Armitage for the corner Armitage is in at the corner and London are back in front great shape from the Broncos Corey Aston to the fore in that superb long pass Guy Armitage could probably have given Tayo a go to a walking at the corner but goes for glory himself and gets in and the Broncos are back in front yeah fantastic vision from Corey Aston he's seen the the you know the oncoming defence from the York City Knights which is flying up on the fullback, and he's picked out a brilliant pass to Guy Armitage see it here as James Meadows skirts across the line balls out the back to Corey Aston who engages the line bang ball over the top to the centre who's in his stride and finishes well in the corner he's done really well to finish that yeah he has yeah he's a big old strong boy and he takes some uh, some stopping right so here comes a change for the City Knights James Green it is and Chris Clarkson's on his way back here's the replay again yeah fantastic vision Do you just think to see that oncoming defender that winger shooting up on the fullback might have been premeditated um, you know but it's something that obviously he's got in that back, back pocket of his and to find that the centre there Guy Armitage great pass you're a centre would you have gone for it or would you let Ty or get in at the oh corner? no we have to take our moments yeah I'll definitely be putting that down in the corner saying that you yeah, know I probably probably would have fed it 
here's Corey Aston that's got no chance oh, wow. into the wind uh, it's landed 15 metres away from the post 22 18 we'll have another look that shows try. just how windy it is when the kick lands uh, further back than the try was, uh, the kick was taken <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a great pass from Corey Aston and a great finish so we've had a points fest in this second half here 22 points in the opening 15 minutes of this second half as London again with Olsi Krasnicki to return the ball Chris Clarkson is back out there yeah they'll be hoping that York will have a little bit more play through him now when he's coming forward with the ball uh, with dummy runners coming off of him as Will Blackmore who's impressed on debut so far as Policier jumps from dummy half he's wrapped up by Sam Scott it's Fozard at dummy half here's Blackmore again he's getting through a lot of work isn't he he is he's a very fit young man and you know he, he prides himself on his work that he does and seeing him in the reserves comp making you know 15 to 20 carries a game for a front rower so he doesn't mind getting through the workload here's Josh Walters as Ashall Bott at dummy half on the last tackle gets it to Aston and they're going to go through the hands as Meadows just <laughs> drops that onto the boot here's one for uh, Hudson to chase down that right hand side but it's found the line it, it's another good set though isn't it nice kick yeah the winger's come up there he's found the space in behind you know and he's given the winger the opportunity to go and chase down that kick it's not a bad outcome you know it's gone out into touch The both teams here can get a bit of a rest to get their breath back for this defensive set and an attacking set so 24 minutes or so left here at Trailfinders not yet gone away there Paul head in tighter in please tighter in the nut shot clock off ball in out Hunslet in front now at the Crusaders by 22 points to 18 Rochdale 32 10 against the British Army uh, witness comfortable 46 6 against Oldham and Doncaster 12 6 up at Workington and again at Whitehaven has been called off because of the weather as Jimmy Kinehorst takes it in it, it was a bit boggy at Whitehaven last week oh I can imagine <laughs> wonderful part of the world though As Browning at dummy half. Here is Clarkson. It's a good yardage set from the York City Knights, making plenty of metres. And a good outcome off the back of it to find grass. Is it just going to run dead? No. Only Ashall Botfield midway inside his goal, mark, goal line, and he'll get 10 away from the line. Stand up! The weather is still being kind to us here in Ealing at the moment. Rain wise, as Jacob Ogden not seen any rain today have we which has been good thankfully but it was nice at witness last week wasn't it <laughs> yeah. yeah the week before here White when we played in the storm that was uh, that was delightful <laughs> as Blackmore and then the carries Policier at dummy half as Meadows to Aston ball's not the best and it's gone through the hands of Tyu Agordo and just got the timing a little bit wrong there yeah just execution on the, on the end there and a bit, of, a bit of poor skill whether it was the pass or the, or, or the oncoming attackers just not reading that and, and making the catch but um, that, that'll be welcomed by the York City Knights you know they're in good field position here they start with a zero tackle and, and you know and they can build some pressure on this Broncos defence so the draw tomorrow night 6.30 from KCOM Craven Park as Brining from the base of the scrum gets it to Clarkson out the back finds Robinson here's Marsh into the line and Marsh with the step Marsh oh, just can't get away great work from High Marsh to make the tackle High Marsh as Robinson at dummy half looks to go the same way he's coming back into centre field needs somebody to drop off and does and it spears and spears is held 10 away from the line as Brining dummy half comes to the right to Stock out the back to Johnson with a flip pass over to Kinehorse with one step Kinehorse for the line he's held by his former teammate Walters as Johnson at dummy half gets it to Washbrook here is Marsh Marsh finds Brining here is got the Johnson they've got numbers here down that left hand side as Salter just can't stay on the field 
really it's maxed off well there. They've, you know, they've bought their time on the edge there and allowed the, the inside defenders to work hard for them uh, and put the pressure on from the inside, as you can see here. Everyone's staying as a line, no one jumping out and making any decisions. Great work to push off, keep pushing off. The ball goes wide. 2v2, go and get your man. Jake Ogden does that really well, added on by young Josh Hoshton and, and, and James Meadows and put him into touch. So, in about 10 minutes' time, we will be giving your choices for the Our League Man of the Match. No pressure. There's Josh Hudson with the carriers. Will Blakemore goes for a breather after a very impressive debut. Yeah, he's done really well for for, for his first in out and, you know, replaced by some experience now in Eddie Batty, who will be looking to lead this team forward to a victory. As Pelissier waits at dummy half. Comes to this left-hand side and Aston is Ashall Bob. The timing a little bit better that time. Yeah, great, good defence from York though, not, not biting in, not making any rash decisions and has dealt with it really well. Walters at dummy half, gets it to Aston. Here is Meadows, Meadows to Ogden and Ogden looks to stick the head down and pin the ears back and it's five short and halfway as Hodson at dummy half. Gets it to Meadows, here's Heimarsh. On the last tackle, as Pelissier goes down the short side, puts boot to ball. It's come off a York player, and it's not been played at, so it should be a York head and feed. And it is. Yeah, not the worst decision in the world, but I think you know it's probably better for the Broncos to keep the ball in play um, to try and tire this York defence out and you know and make them turn around and make those uh, hard yards out of their own line. You know, this rest now gives them just a little bit of time to get some oxygen in the lungs. You know, and, and probably for the Broncos, that's not what, what what's needed. And will this maybe full-time, part-time thing play a, a thing in the last 20 minutes? Potentially, potentially, but, you know, you look at the experience in that team sheet there for the York City Knights, you know, there's plenty of players who have played, you know, at, at a high level who know how to finish games strongly. As Will Jubb gets back out there alongside Jack Teamby, as Washbrook then gets 12 short of halfway. Here's Johnson, pops it up to Teamby. That's been stolen out by Elwa Pelissier. And there should be a knock on against Elwa Pelissier, this. He's pulled it one on one. Yeah, he's pulled it out one on one. Great carry, just needs to keep hold of it. But yeah, Elwa Pelissier seems to make a play at the ball here. Yeah, he's, which he's, goes not, he's pulled forward, it out yeah. one on one, so he's knocked on yeah. The right decision. So a fresh set for York as Johnson gets it to Kynhorst. <laughs> Elliot Wallace waits at dummy half. It's going to go on his own. Good fend. Into Corey Aston there. Lost it. Lost it. Penalty. And that's going to be a penalty. And then Elliot Wallace and Tyu Agordo have a bit of a disagreement. And time off, let's just have a look at this. He's not he's far away it. from it, the line when you can. Yeah, he has lost it. You can see there's a little fumble in there. Toyo Agodo's going absolutely crazy at him. He then has a swing. Can you just pick him, please? He's took the, no, he's took the marker out. Ah, so. London have got the penalty. Okay, but. That's a coach killer in possession, isn't it? Yeah, James Ford would be happy with that team in possession. You know, this game is fine in the balance here at the moment, 22-18. 20, you don't want to be gifting field position to this Broncos team coming into York's defensive half. So, Pelissier dummy half gets it to Aston. Here's Fozard. Fozard to Meadows. Here's Hodson down that right wing on debut today. He's got the oh. ball out. He was heading off the island. And he was just forced into letting the ball go, so York have got it back first tackle. 
Here's Team B. And that's a let off. You know, you've got to be a bit smart on it. It's on debut, the poor lad. You know, it's, it's, it's a, a coach killer, as we, as we say, you know, just to give the play up on play one. Obviously, going off the island, you know, you'd be looking for the Broncos teammates to be helping him there. They're not getting around him to support him, and he has to throw that offload. There's Clarkson then. Well, Clarkson's gone backwards. This should be play on. And Policia collects, and Policia only one to beat. Ooh. And knock on's been given. No advantage. Great. Let's have a look. It's great heat from Elwa. Did he make a play at it? Either way. I think he's given he's given two knock ons. He thinks it's just touched Elwa's hand. Oh, okay. The mad Frenchman was off. <laughs> Heads in! Shot clock off! Out! So, Policier from the base of the scrum finds Fozard. Here is Hein Marsh. Move off the ball! Hey. Go. As Policier waits at dummy half, comes to the left to Fozard. Out the back to Aston. Here's Meadows. Oh, just didn't quite time that right. Here's trouble as Johnson collects and Taylor Gordo's done really well to get back. Play on is the call. Seven tackle set. As Clarkson. 14 minutes left here, 22 18. London lead as Jubb to Spears. Here's Robinson to Marsh. Marsh pops it up to Salter down that left hand side as Salter cuts back in field. Here's Marsh now. Marsh to Robinson. Needs a runner, he's got Johnson, Johnson dummies, tries to go and just loses Stand his footing up. on the pitch as Stand up. Go Washbrook gets into dummy half, gets it to Spears, Four. couple on, left in the set, Stand 10 back. out in centre field, they stack this right hand side as Robinson back okay. to Johnson, here's Marsh into the line, long ball, over the top, over out. the top, got into touch and the chance go has on, gone. Both teams making uncharacteristic errors and you know just forcing that play whether the wind is having an effect on, on the ball when they're passing, but you know, just uncharacteristic errors from both sides here, making it a little bit of a scrappy affair at the moment. You just look for, you know, one or two of the more senior players in these teams to take control of this uh, back end of this game and, and, and just guide their team at the moment because you know these errors are just forcing each team a little bit of a hand in in, in, uh, in territory. So we'll pack this scrum 15 away from the London line. Here is Jacob Ogden. As Policier waits at dummy half. Here is Eddie Batty. Policier goes to the right hand side. Here's Fozard gets it to Hein Marsh. As Policier waits at dummy half, gets it to Eddie Batty, to Krasnicki. As Policier again waits for the Marcus to make a decision and then drops it off to Heimarsh. Offload was on. Probably the right decision not to not to throw it. As Policier waits at dummy half, goes to the left hand side to Batty. Here is. Aston, Aston gets it to Armitage oh, oh, and it's a good tackle from Jimmy Kynos but he's got through it as Guy Armitage and gets it back to Meadows on the last tackle, it's come off the foot of Marsh and Marsh has done really well to get that ball there's Elliot Wallace with the carry as Three. Robinson at dummy half. Four. Move now, get to me! Step back, mate, step back. Go for. Here's Salter. Five. Move on it, work it back. Hold, hold, Owa. Go five, good Owa. This job gets it back to Marsh. Oh, Marsh is going to go high. This one's swirling everywhere and balls bounced. And now it's sat up nicely for. Tayu Agordo. One. Move! 
Hold, Jack, hold. Some of the Broncos players here just coming back a bit, little bit wearily. Some of their forwards working really hard in defence. Going to need some of the outside backs here just to do some of the leg work. There's Sam Davis back out there. As Aston again gets it to Fozard and Fozard stops, comes back across the face of the York City Knights defence and just gets over Great the offload. It, gets the offload to Glissier. Here's Davis again. Stand up! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Go for it's Pelissier to Aston. Good ball to Armitage. Chance here. But Wallace and Kynehorst and well, Guy Armitage, what power! Gets 10 Great carry. from the line. Great leg drive. On the last tackle as Walters gets it to Aston. Aston just drops it onto the ground for Chris Nicky, but Marsh is there. The chase isn't there. And Matty Marsh has done really well. Move, guy! Hold it, hold! Hold it, mate. Go, go work at it. One. Squeaky clean from the Broncos here. Two. Can't Move. afford to give away a penalty. Hold! Go to right, you'll be able to vote for your Our League Man of the Match very, very soon. Uh, we've had a, a tough decision. Three. We've picked two Three. from each side. Uh, so you're going to be voting for James Meadows and Matty Fozard from the Broncos or Connor Robinson and Chris Clarkson from the York City Knights so there a little bit of four on the vote it's going to be up very very soon indeed as Robinson again looks for the 40-20 as Agordu gets back there and has a bit of a collision with James Meadows yeah, we'll thank him for that later I think there's <laughs> Aston at dummy half is Jacob Ogden he's really impressed me this afternoon yeah he's been very lively very strong very powerful runner of the football it's Pellissier at dummy half here's Eddie Batty on the rumble move Jack hold step back as Pellissier waits at dummy half no mark as this is where he scored from last time as Pellissier goes again gets the offload to Heimarsh he's got Hudson on the outside and Heimarsh who got the first London try is 18 out as Pellissier waits at dummy half try here will probably just about wrap things up for the Broncos as Batty gets it to Aston here is Walters and Walters again met by his former teammate in Jimmy Kynehorst last tackle as Meadows tries to short side he's going to go on his own and it's a waste not the right decision um at this moment in the game yes look to complete your sets and finish you know in the right areas but opportunity there to to maybe get a better outcome than that as Wallace has got the body position wrong and he's great defence from the Broncos coming off the line with some line speed as Marsh at dummy half gets it to Clarkson two move Marcus square hold hold go to as Jubb at dummy half to Robinson to Salter down that left edge as Ob Thing gets across three, alongside five, Hodgson three. to bring him to ground. Go three. It's Robinson at dummy half gets it to Jubb. Here is Spears. Plant gets the offload three. back to Jubb and Jubb's got a bit of real estate up the middle. Needs support. Great tackle, tackle from, Davis. from Sam Davis as Marsh at dummy half. We've got numbers this left hand side as Robinson gets it to Salter. Salter looks to step back inside and that's Matt Fozard with the cover on the last tackle. Gets it to Robinson goes across field. Kynehorst. Great take. Can't take it. There's a good competition between Kynehorst and Agordo. And Tayo Agordo comes down with it. Bit of a let off there from the Broncos. Conceding uh, some quick rucks and some offloads in that set. They're looking very tired in that middle at the moment. Uh, York seem to be the team that's a little bit more on top at the moment as we go into this final six to seven minutes. Policia then gets it to Batty. Pellissier at dummy half pops it up to Davis Pellissier at dummy half here's Eddie Batty out it's the back finds Marsh to hind Marsh it's on out the back every time it's just just getting there yeah just playing the, the play for the sake of the play hitting that short lead not actually looking up at the numbers ahead and, and playing the 3v2 that's out back 
So Matt Fozard on the last tackle will just drill the ball over the sideline. And now it's all about defending for the Broncos again. Yeah, it looks as though the uh, the Broncos have gone into a bit of game management mode here and, and you know trying to run this clock down, which you know at the scoreline, you know you, 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 it, it's a tough one really because at 22:18, you know it only takes one lapse in concentration um, at this stage, you know, and there's still quite a bit of time. I'd, not quite sure. Oh. Head in, tight in, please. Right, you've got Chocolate eight minutes to in. vote for your Ouch. our league man of the match. Uh, the poll is up there now. Uh, no. Connor Robinson, Chris Move Clarkson, Matty Fazard, or oh. James Meadows are your Go four on. to choose from. As Will Job gets it to Johnson. Here is Kine Horst. Two, no, get to me, Eddie. Hold. Go to As Washbrook from dummy half goes on his own. Three. Wait, wait! There's Jub waits at dummy half. Johnson running across the field. Here is Robinson. Robinson to Marsh, who's into the line. Marsh dummies and goes, and there's that man, Four, Matt Fozard, again. Yeah, defensively, he's been great uh, out on that edge as he swapped to that halfback position out there now, uh, making great reads and working really well. The centre, Jake Osborne. As Clarkson gets it to oh. Scott, and Scott's knocked it on. Again, Clarkson at the heart of it. You know, that's when York looked dangerous when the players coming through him, inviting players onto him and, and having lead runners off of him. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like he's just gone for the offload there and can't. It's Tim Spears, it is. Yeah. And well, they're at that stage now where they've got to try and do things like that, aren't they? They have. They've got to tr try and find a way to win this game. Um, and, and that's how they'll do it, I think, through Clarkson and Connor Robinson. Head in, head in, head in. Shot clock off. Out. If York were to get a try, we would be heading for Golden Point here as Armitage gets over halfway. As a Godo at dummy half will just take it in for the Broncos. As Policier waits at dummy half. Here is Eddie Batty now. Policier has chance to scoop from dummy half. Here is Aston. Aston, can he get away? Corey Aston is held up. What a tackle! Great defence. What an absolutely fantastic tackle that is. Bit of magic from Elwood Policier. Shoots out of dummy half and Corey Aston in support. Fantastic defence. Davis to Batty. And Batty oh, gets it to Policier, but Policier met straight away. Last tackle. As Meadows waits at dummy half, goes to the right hand side to Fozard, back on the inside. Here's Corey Aston! Just gone dead, and it's going to be a 20 metre restart and a seven tackle set. Lovely kick from Matty Fozard, just to dink it back on the inside with Corey Aston coming up through the middle. Here we see Owa Policier putting Corey Aston through a lovely hole. What a tackle that was from Sam yeah. Scott. So York just about to start drinking in the last chance saloon. There's Jub at dummy half. Here is Salter. I don't know how many changes they've got left, but do you think they could do with one of Green or Baldwinson back out there now? I'd imagine that's got to be in the, in James Ford's mind to get one of those big fellas back on who's caused so much damage through this uh, early part of the game. Here's Clarkson. Gets it to Johnson. Dummies tries to get underneath. He's got away. Needs support. Oh, James, Three. great tackle from James Meadows. Great drama. As it's popped up to Kynehorst. Oh. Jimmy Kynehorst for the line. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Kynehorst has scored. Just over two minutes left. And Jimmy Kynehorst gets in for the York City Knights. And there is the sting in the tail. And is that enough to put them into the draw on Monday night? Wow. We spoke about the previous game and, and that we were on and, and the finish and, and it's delivered again here. Jimmy Kynos comes under. Here's the break first of all. Great play through Clarkson. Takes the line on Ben Johnson. He's got that duck and, and weave and he's under under the tackle of Olsi Krasniki. Great work from James Meadows though to bring him to ground. And I'm not no criticism of James Meadows. He was a little bit too honest. Yeah, you know, you'd probably be looking to, to give away a penalty there and, 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 and maybe concede that one, you know. It's one that you don't really talk about with your coaches, but it's, you know, it's sort of mentioned and, you know, a bit of experience, he might, he might have done something differently. Right, 
huge kick I'll tell you in a minute, mate. for uh, Connor Robinson. One minute, mate. So he's had a minute. He's only got 80 seconds to get the kick away. Huge kick, this. As Robinson then with the kick sticks the flags up here at Trailfinders. It's going to be time off. We're inside the last five minutes. And Yorker ahead again by 24 points to 22. Here's the try again. Yeah, as we can see, Johnson dipping under a few would be tacklers. James Meadows making that tackle. Yeah, if he had his time again, I think he'd probably just want to lay on there. But it's a great fight from Johnston to get a quick play the ball. Short kick off. Oh, Jimmy Kynost has done really well there. And Guy Armitage with the hit. Step back, step back. As they need the ball, the Broncos. They need the ball desperately. Well, from dummy half. As Job, this is going to be up the jumper time now. As Davis with the tackle. As Johnson. Nothing fancy here now. And it's been. Oh, it's a penalty. There's full time. And that's full time. The siren's gone. We've still got to play the penalty. What, what? Although it was one on one, there was two in the tackle and one's dropped off. Yeah. It's going to tap it and. It's going to go to ground, and that is it. Full time here at the Trailfinders, and York City Knights have into round five after a dramatic late win here over uh, the London Broncos uh, by 24 points to 22.